The Canadian men's national team is taking a huge blow in the long-standing pursuit of the young Canadian-Mexican dual national, Marcelo Flores, as earlier today he has informed Canada that he has chosen to represent Mexico at the international footballing level, as earlier today Gareth Wheeler and sources from One Soccer have confirmed that the young 18-year-old Arsenal U23 and Mexican Youth International has committed his international footballing career to Mexico. And this really shouldn't come as a shock or a big blow to Canada or Canadian men's national team fans, as really this is no shock. As he has expressed on social media, as this is, was his huge dream and he's always been committed to representing Mexico. We've known this for such a long time. It was just a dream for Canada to try and land him. But sadly, it has not happened, as Mikhail Arteta has even come out saying he's going to go to Mexico and stuff like that. But really, for me, this is a very interesting one because, yes, it does end the long-standing recruitment battle for John Herbin, the Canadian men's national team, of his great talent of Marcelo Flores. But is it truly a massive blow? As on one soccer, as Gareth Wheeler reported... He had this to say, which I think is very interesting. He says the decision to play for Mexico is a blow for Canada, as Herdman doesn't currently have a player of Flores' prof profile in his squad and naturally gifted playmaking number 10. And I think he hasn't taken a deep look into these dual nationals, because I think that is absolute rubbish to say. Because you need to take a further look into Canadian men's soccer, because we have an unbelievable number 10 who's playing out in Serbia for Redniki Nice in Stefan Mitrovic. For me, Stefan Mitrovic right now is a better talent, a better prospect than Marcelo Flores. Yes, you guys are probably going to slander me in the comments for that one, but I would rather have right now Stefan Mitrovic than Marcelo Flores. Stefan Mitrovic is a more gifted and a quality playmaking playmaker at the number 10 position. He has proved it consistently in a number one professional league where Marcelo Flores is a 18-year-old playing in the U23 level in the reserve league in the Premier League. Don't get me wrong, he is a very good talent. That is a massive blow for Canada. And I'm sad that we're not going to get Marcelo Flores, but I don't think it's as big of a blow as most Canadians might blow out of proportion. Because you guys need to look at Stefan Mitrovic. Stefan Mitrovic is... For me, better than Marcelo Flores, and he can also be a versatile player as John Herdman loves. Stefan Mitrovic can play out in the wing on the left side, but also is an unbelievable number 10 in playmaker, as he has had bundles of assists and goals this year for Red Niki Nice. He has been absolutely brilliant for the side in the Serbian First Division, and he isn't scoring against scrubs or playing against trash teams as you might think in the Serbian First Division. He has played against sides like Red Star Belgrade and Partizan against sides like Milan Boyan, as we well know, is an unbelievable goalie. And like I said in my other video about Stefan Mitrovic and why I think he needs to be called up, he's had 10 goals and 4 assists this year. For an XA of 2.84, he is fantastic. And he's only 19. He's only a year older than Marcelo Flores. I think he's a great player. And yes, it is a big blow to lose Marcelo Flores. Don't get me wrong, I never downplay that. And yes, you have to look at how John Herdman's pursued this so diligently and has not backed down from staying in the media that he thinks young Canadians are even looking at that Canada doing so well in the World Cup and qualifying because he even talked about Marcelo Flores and dual nationals looking at this and maybe switching their mind on who they're going to represent. Sadly, it hasn't gone our way and ha we have not got Marcelo Flores. Yes, he is not cap tied yet, but he has said he's going to commit to Mexico, so it's obvious that he's not joining us, which we did expect for some time. And sadly, it's really unfortunate to see for the Canadian men's national side. But like I said, you got to look at Stefan Mitrovic. You guys can't downplay what we already have in the number 10 position. That's why I am really shocked that Gareth Wheeler even said that in this article, that we don't have a gifted number 10 in the squad. Yes, we don't have one in the current squad. I understand what he's saying there. But we do have one in the player pool in Stefan Mitrovic, who is an unbelievable baller and just a year older than Marcelo Flores, who I think is better than Marcelo Flores. Yes, it's a big loss to lose Marcelo Flores. It's sad to see. And especially with how much pursuit of of Marcelo Flores that Herb and the squad are even having, the mountain contact that was there. But unfortunately, he has chose Mexico. There's nothing we can do about it. As Canadian fans, we should realize that it's not much of a shock. We did see this coming. And if you didn't, I don't know what you were looking at because it was quite obvious. He had it out there in social media. His dad was pushing for him to go play for Mexico. Sadly, Marcelo Flores never got the chance to come see what Canada offered with our camps due to COVID. 
But he chose Mexico. Yes, he hasn't been great for them in recent form. He hasn't played much. He did play in 29 minutes in that Guatemala friendly. But he has chose Mexico. There's nothing we can do about it as a Canadian fan's perspective. It's not a shock to me, really. It shouldn't be a shock to you guys as Canadian men's national team fans. But for me, don't be too sad because we do have a great number 10 coming up that we need to cap tie immediately in Stefan Mitrovic. Let me know what you guys think about Marcelo Flores committing his future to Mexico in the international footballing scene. Drop a comment down below. I love growing the Canadian football base on the channel as I am Canada Canadian and I love this team so, so much. Guys, drop a comment down below. Hit that like button. Smash that like button. Really helps me out in algorithm. And hit that sub button if you enjoy all the best football content. Whether that be transfer news and rumors. To match previews and reactions. Or of course, international football and content. Especially Canada. Let me know what you guys think down below in comments. And I'll see you for the next one. Peace.